What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the fix command program by Startsoft in order to basically fix your device if it's no longer booting or if your device for example is stuck in recovery mode or black screen, white screen, whatever. So with this we will be able to fix iOS, iPadOS and tvOS and of course there's also the ability to do this without any data loss. It may not work in all circumstances but in some cases you can actually get your data back after repairing the device. So in order to get the software you go here to the Startsoft Startsoft.com iOS system recovery and it's Startsoft FixCon here. So there is a free trial available and you can definitely get it. You can one click enter and exit recovery mode with it. But the FixCon program can actually fix more than 150 system errors, including the ones I mentioned, like for example, your device being stuck in disable screen, it won't charge, stuck on the Apple logo, you know, white screen, blue screen, black screen, DFU mode, and so on. So if your update failed or a restore failed or a jailbreak failed and it sent your device to its demise, this can help you fix it. So in order to use this program it's actually quite simple to use. All you have to do is to basically install it. As I said a free trial is available here for Windows. For now there is no Mac OS version or Linux version for this program, only Windows. And once you get the program installed it has three options here. You can enter exit recovery mode, for example to enter recovery mode you press in here and that's it. It spins a little bit and your device will reboot and it's then in recovery mode which looks like this. Now of course if you want to take it out of the recovery mode you just press in there but I'm going to leave it in recovery mode for the restore purpose. Now this device is actually stuck in recovery mode permanently, it won't boot, it's basically going to boot loop and show the Apple logo and then it boots into recovery mode because once I tried to actually restore this device and it failed. So now I'm stuck with it semi brick but it can be fixed with a restore in here. So you have two options, either the standard repair or the advanced repair. It says in here that the standard repair can fix most common iOS systems without data loss. So this is probably what you would want to try in the first place. If you try the advanced repair this one will definitely erase all the data. So if there's a tiny chance that your data can be actually salvaged you would want to go with the standard repair first. So if you go in here you're going to be able to basically basically download the proper iOS version and it will actually update your device to the latest version without deleting the data. Going with the advanced one will actually wipe everything and it says in here that it gives you more power to fix more stubborn problems, however it will erase all the data on the device and if Find My iPhone is enabled before repairing you will be asked to provide the iCloud password to be able to set up your device. So not here on the program, the program will not ask you for your password but the phone after you repair it may actually ask you for your iCloud iCloud sign in. So of course if your device is iCloud locked and you don't know the password you may not want to try this. Now I'm going to go with the standard repair which is recommended if the phone is dead, is bricked, white or black screen, won't turn on or it's stuck on the Apple logo and recovery mode the same as mine is. Mine is not actually an iPhone, it's an iPod Touch 7th generation which is the latest iPod Touch released by Apple running the latest version 15.1. So I'm going to press standard repair here and as you can see it did detect the fact that only 15.1 is currently signed and as such it will basically download this version for my iPod Touch 7 here. So I'm going to press download here but if you already have a firmware that is supporting your device and of course it's currently signed you can actually open it in here but if you don't you can press download and it will start downloading that package automatically. At this point you don't have to do much you can leave it like this it's going to download the thing but it will take some time so I'm going to be right back once it finishes. So as you can see like a minute later I do have the file in here. Now this will depend on how fast your internet connection is because the file is indeed 5 gigs in size so in my case its fiber is going to work pretty fast and after that you must not disconnect the phone. If you do that the connection will be lost and of course the restore will fail. So as you can see it's now verifying and it says firmware is ready. Please keep your device connected to the computer via the USB cable. So I'm going to press continue over here and it's starting the procedure. At this point it's no longer safe to unplug your device. So your device might reboot a couple of times. It may show the Apple logo, it may show a progress bar underneath the Apple logo which may increase. It may not match 100% the progress bar in here but it will show the progress of the installation. Now do not open other programs in the background, do not close this one, do not disconnect the device, do not mess with the cable because any slight interruption can actually cause the restore to fail. Alright so as you can see it's progressing here in the background so while that is doing its thing let's go ahead and see what the price of this program is. As I said there is a free trial available 
but if you want to see the pricing here it is so you can get it for one month one device for $25.95 for one year three devices which is a recommended one $35.95 US dollars but there's also probably the best one lifetime license for unlimited devices $45.95 now as good as this prices might be I do have a better option so as you can see we have selected here the lifetime plan for $45.95 but if we redeem the code in the description down below which you can get and we press update in here as you can see it goes back to 3216 so it's actually a much better price you can definitely get it in the description down below the code is available in there now the device is actually restoring in the background it shows the progress bar increasing so it's basically going to take some time about 10 minutes or so and once that is complete the device should be usable again all right so the progress bar as you can see is almost completely increased so the tool should finish and as you can see it says in here repaired successfully your device will be restarted please wait now after the restart the device will start showing again a progress bar that's perfectly normal because that basically continues the installation so the first boot will actually take a couple of minutes before it boots into the setup screen where it is your language and so on so I'm gonna be right back once that is done and I'm going to show you exactly how the device behaves all right so this is the device it booted to the setup screen in here and of course I chose the language and the Wi-Fi network and now we press continue here to set up the device I ended up actually doing a full advanced restore because this device was unfortunately unfixable because of a jailbreak boot loop so I'm not gonna set any password in here I'm gonna go with the don't use passcode for now and don't transfer any apps or data and I don't have an Apple ID just to skip through the setup screen here faster so I'm gonna disable all the location and stuff and of course now we press get started and that's it the device is now fully usable once again and yes it does run the latest version available which I'm gonna go here to the software and show you it says 15.1 iOS is up to date so yes everything works fine you can go here into the calendar you can go here into the home and everything works fine you can even go to the internet and yeah it does work so I'm gonna go here to Bing and you can see that everything works fine so you can definitely repair your phone with this in here but do keep in mind you would want to go with the standard one before going with the advanced one so that you can preserve your data when possible so that's basically it guys thank you for watching definitely check out starts of fixcon in the description down below there is also a coupon for 30% off so definitely check that out and check out their free trial thank you again for watching i am geosnow until the next time peace out